This is Kayleen. She loves sailing and is trying to convince me as well. Kira's not convinced, but Carl knows what's up. I lost both my feet, so obviously we called the boat Footloose. Welcome back to All About Spray. Make your list and check it twice. This is a bonus episode. It is now December, and I am feeling festive, hence the boat sized Christmas tree. So I've decided to do a little Christmas gift guide of things that I've found that I've reached to a lot this year. So as a sailor and live aboard in the Pacific Northwest, these are items that I think would be really great gifts for either yourself. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. For others, um, stocking, some are stocking stuffers and some are bigger items bigger purchased items yeah let's get started we all know what Christmas is I'm gonna start small an electric lighter this would be a good stocking stuffer or just part of a gift I actually got this from my grandparents last Christmas I use this for starting the stove because I find this the starter igniter is really hard to use but um, it's rechargeable so you just use a I think that's a micro USB cable and recharge it which I recharge it maybe once a month it takes like an hour to recharge it bends number two is a good quality thermos um, I've tried a couple I've tried some Yeti ones um, my favorite are the Stanley ones so I use these I actually have a two of these one I use for coffee and one I use for alcoholic beverages these are super great because you can toss them around they can they fit in all water bottle holders they keep your drinks like hot all day if you want hot coffee or tea or hot chocolate I also you know it'll bash around the cockpit and they're super tough and durable so these are the Stanley I should look this up shit this is the Stanley trigger action travel mug I think I got that right I like this one, but I've also started using this one as well, which is their Tough to Tip Admiral Mug, which I find when you're under sale, this one is a lot better because even though we have holders in the cockpit, I always just end up leaving my mugs everywhere and these ones don't tip over and they've got the rubber base um, so they don't slip as well. So both great options um, would recommend. Next up is a product that I found this year that I am super excited about because I have a lot of hair. <laughs> These are shampoo bars, shampoo and conditioner bars, and they have a little travel tin you can get as well. And they're made by a local uh, Victoria company, so that's in BC here locally. And they smell amazing and they actually work really well, which this isn't a beauty blog or whatever, but I know a lot of boaters try to go with more like plastic free options because you're literally pouring whatever you're using in the shower or in the sink and you're putting it right back into the ocean. So sometimes I even wash my hair in the ocean, um, not when I'm living at the marina, but when you're out in the summer. And it was really important to me to find something that was sustainable so um, I've previously tried Lush products and that's what I used when we sailed to Hawaii and back but I find they just don't really work great for my hair I was really excited to find the Green Room Body Co company um, so you can check them out next up are air hole face masks which you're like what isn't the purpose of a mask to not let your air out <laughs> so funny. I got gifted one of these earlier this year. So it's basically a neck warmer that you can pull up over your nose and you still have a spot to breathe, which looks ridiculous, but it's the most useful thing ever. And then in the summer, we have basically the summertime version. So super lightweight hat, 
bucket hat and I think they do like a cat version as well and a front piece that you can either keep around the back of your neck or you can bring if you're getting a lot of reflection you could bring this around the front and again it's got the air hole that you can breathe through um, I feel like this would be way more useful in the tropics I uh, use it on snow as well for the reflection. I've used them more than I, I thought I would because they look kind of goofy. <laughs> Next up is AquaQuest Dry Bags. Another local company, which to me local means on Vancouver Island. They're super affordable and if you've lived on a boat like me then you realize how much how often you actually use dry bags. I have a lot of dry bags stuffed in my cupboards and kind of everywhere and I literally use them every day. This is the one that I use the most. It's got a see-through port here so you can see what's inside it. Rolls up like most dry bags. I take this one to work with me but I've also used it on board here to throw it into Carl. Um, as you're going to shore and you need to put your valuables in it um, or you're yeah transporting stuff back and forth or just your lunch that's valuable too one of the bags I've used the most is this large one I'll have all the links for these ones below but um, we use this for chucking our laundry back and forth and it's just a really useful size because it's so big Okay, so next up is a uh, starting to get a bit bigger of purchases. So this is the crew insulator jacket. And they make it a men's and women's. I've found that ever since I moved on to a sailboat, so like three-ish years now I've lived on a boat, I uh, wear vests a lot. Mostly because it's just always a little bit cooler on the water. The one that I've been go reaching to the most is the Heli Hansen Crew Insulator Jacket, which is a synthetic jacket, which means it will dry really easily and you don't sweat as much in it. So um, if you are starting to get warm from like winching, say, then you don't stay wet if it does get wet from your sweat. Um, it's also very kind of low profile and don't really notice I'm wearing it too much other than it just keeps me a little, my core a little bit warmer. Next up is the Mustang Hit in auto inflatable life jacket with the D-rings. I find that people kind of skimp out on life jackets and even though we don't, you'll see in our videos, we don't wear them a ton. When it does get super windy, we do, I kind of have this rule that if we go out of the cockpit, you're wearing your life jacket, all the crew, or if we're in Carl and it's not like dead flat, Carl's our dinghy, um, then we wear the life jacket. So these are the Mustang um, hit jackets with all harness D-rings on them. And I mean, we sailed to Hawaii with a Mustang jacket. It was recently this year that I got the ones with the D-rings. It does make them a little bit heavier, but it means you don't have to wear a separate harness when you want to clip into your jack lines or um, move up and down the boat, which is nice. Last up is an item that I tried to get away from having or buying for a few years because it is an expensive item, and that's a foul weather jacket. So I've previously used just Gore-Tex jackets, like my ski jacket basically, um, a rain jacket, and then tried to layer underneath, but I find that I just don't stay as warm and it's just not made for sailing. Um, so this is the Heli Hansen Skagen Offshore Jacket. The feature that I've been most impressed with that make it worth the money for me is the um, big collar. So when I have this, when I'm all bundled up, basically your whole chin and neck is protected. And also the big pockets as well. Um, they're fleece lined, which is really nice. And then they have the Velcro option as well on top. I also find these jackets surprisingly waterproof. 
we get some pretty crazy rains up here in the Pacific Northwest and I wear this even like if I have to do some work up on the deck and it's raining um, I this is my jacket of choice because it keeps me warm and dry a foul weather jacket to a sailor is like a good book to a librarian that's my metaphor of the day I hope that gave you some ideas for Christmas presents or just presents for yourself that works too um, this is what I have found very useful in 2020 as a sailor and live aboard on my tartan 42 oh my god this is what I have found really useful on my tartan 42 here in Campbell River BC maybe these things don't make sense to you as a sailor but um, here in the Pacific Northwest I think these items are super handy so I've included all the links for everything in the description below but I've also made a blog post on my website that has it all in a spot that you can see at once with pictures so if you want to check that out that's also in the link below it's KayleenVandery.com and other than that there will be another episode coming out per usual next week um, this was just a bonus episode so I hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions about any of the products feel free to shoot me a message Instagram's usually the best spot to get me um, that's at from snow to sale see you next week Merry Christmas yeah,